Welcome to Forest Watch. Beautiful golden skin. Do you have a newt license? That's right, yeah, newt license. Yes. <laughs> license to newt. That's right, yes. <laughs> Would you like to hold this newt? Oh, I'd love to. Okay, here we go. So, here we have a great crested newt. My first encounter, and he is absolutely beautiful. Lovely bright orange underbelly. And whilst it's down at the moment, he has got a really big crest. And when he's wooing the females, he'll be raising that crest in the air and puffing out his tail and looking very prehistoric and very impressive. Dragonflies are extremely susceptible to pollution, which makes them a good indicator species, because if dragonflies and damselflies are on a lake, it's a good indication that the water quality and the ecosystem in general is in good condition. So, judging by the sheer numbers of damselflies and dragonflies on this particular lake, for now at least, it looks like this lake is in very good condition. So, when you're investigating winter trees, the first thing to look out for in bud formation is whether they're parallel down the branch or whether they form a zigzag formation. So I'm near a tree now which if I hold it up against my hand hopefully you can see it's a zigzag formation. These buds are each about two centimeters long and they're very very pointed. This is a beech tree. <laughs> 